I just used my daughter's boyfriend's four-wheeler with tracks on it to come up here and check on the cabin and more than anything just to break some trail to get up here um, I wanted to ride his four-wheeler and see what I thought about it and uh, it obviously does the trick when there's two feet of snow on the ground but what I got to do is keep breaking trail every time it snows up here to, to keep the trail open I need to get up here and finish some stuff We here at Red Poppy Ranch wanted to take a minute to wish you happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Thank you again for being a part of our lives through watching our videos. I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself today and hopefully entertain you with some of my wife Cedar's favorite Christmas songs. And by the way, all Christmas songs are her favorite this time of year. Be safe out there. We'll see you in a few days. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on box tails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open Okay, I have to do something pretty significant to these posts and I really only got one chance to do it and do it right. I've got to figure out exactly where the beam is gonna sit. If I cut off too much post, obviously I can't fix that. Uh, if anything, I'm probably gonna lean the other way and leave a quarter inch or a half inch as I work my way down and just make sure, ultimately all I'm trying to do is make sure that the pitch remains exactly the same all the way down so it's not noticeable so the there's no difference all it is is a, a long overhang so i think i've got an idea how to do it with some uh, streamline and a level but we'll see how this goes
Oh. You alright? Is that what it would be for? Like a cheap cloud or something to throw that? Okay, looks like I got the angles established properly. Uh, now I have to cut all the posts off and then I have to take into consideration that the beam is a six inch beam, but it's a rough sawn beam. So I'm gonna cut it at five and three quarter. And then if I have to, I'll hit it with a planer or something to kind of clean it up just to make sure that everything is perfectly straight. Where'd you find that? It was on the ground. It was like back there. That's funny. It's your goats. <laughs> Rhett just found a pitcher. Or when I was, I'm younger than that. I'm probably, I don't even know, 10 or 11 maybe. That goat would end up being a really mean pygmy. I mean, he was just a billy. Billy goat's just on me. I would put my motorcycle helmet on and go out there in the yard and get on my knees and uh, ram him. And one day he took his horns like that and the horns came under the uh, helmet and missed my eyes by millimeters <laughs> and scraped my head up. So then I would turn my helmet around backwards. And one day I'm out there, so I can't see anything. One day I'm out there uh, ramming the goat and I think my older brother Ben walked by and went <laughs> kicked me and I didn't know who did it. <laughs> I'm just looking around with my helmet stuck on my head. I'm gonna go show that to mom. Okay. <laughs> Rhett just found another pitcher. Rhett's helping me clean the shop right now and he keeps finding some of the old heirloom stuff. This has got to be like 1988. Um, it's my dad. My dad would have been probably 46, a couple years older than me at this time. And that's my billy goat, my first pygmy billy goat. That's back in the corner where there was an apricot tree back in the corner of our yard. My dad basically tried to do a very similar fence to <laughs> the fencing that I do around here, some field fence and some T-posts. And he left the big 30 year old apricot tree back in that corner and this goat would just start chewing the bark off that apricot tree and about four months later he'd basically killed this big beautiful apricot tree there's my dad first goat it's kind of fun to see that stuff
was born O oh, night divine O oh, night divine led by the light of faith serenely beaming glowing hearts by his cradle By light, I stars with the gleaming. Here come the wise men from Orient land, the king of kings. Lay thus lowly mangled in all our trance, born to be our friend. Oh, fall on your knees. Oh, hear the angel voice say, Oh, night divine, the night when Christ was born. Oh, night. was born tree oh christmas tree thy leaves are so unchanging oh christmas tree oh christmas tree thy leaves are so Oh, 
Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, you'll ever be unchanging, a symbol of good will and love. The last thing I have to do is cut, carefully cut the drip edge off in a way where it's not gonna conflict between the new roof and then I also have to pull the fascia completely off. I went inside for about 10 or 15 minutes to eat some lunch real quick. We got a storm that's trying to come in. Cedar made me some lunch and already the snow has slid another foot or so down. So I'm gonna knock the snow off real quick. I'm gonna cut it with my angle grinder as carefully as I can. And then I'm gonna go in for the night because this storm's trying to do something. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang! Oh, shush! Bro! <laughs> Those are so Open it! Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. Mr. Beast here? <laughs> Come on, Come on Hello? <laughs> okay, um, I'm taking this all the way to the gas uh, station. Let's go. Do that again, Cheyenne. Uh, let's take this to Hello? the free bike store. Come on. Let's have Christian. I'll buy all this. Look at this. What do you guys say? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank I'll you, Mr. Bikes. This hey. is all the money I've ever held. I'll give you a $50 bill for each one of the, for the bundle. If you want. It's probably not. It's probably $100. It's $50. Oh, it's $50. Oh, it's $50. It's 50. Oh, crap. Look at my crap. I'm out plowing snow and uh, I pulled up to the house long enough to turn around and go back down. I've been plowing for probably two and a half hours. Uh, I had to plow for at least that much time yesterday. I have burned two uh, full tanks of gas um, and I just got a notification when I pulled up to the house, a notification of uh, a, a National Weather Service winter storm warning and what it said was uh, squalls. And the wind is crazy right now. Good gosh, it's crazy. But I, as I've been working this old F-250, making it just about work as hard as it can to get this job done, especially when we get a little bit of snow. We've probably had a foot of snow in the last three days at least, if not more. Um, I think I've decided to bite the bullet and build a legitimate plow truck. Uh, one ton, maybe even put a dump bed on it, maybe find a dually. Um, I'm always looking for the inexpensive truck to build this stuff out of, and I think I've just concluded that I don't want inexpensive, uh, reasonably uh, inexpensive anyway, because if the truck broke down, 
uh, I don't have a backup plow truck. So I think I've just decided just to go ahead and find a truck that's gonna handle this kind of abuse in the winter time and maybe put a dump bed on it so I can use it for other things in the summer, maybe use it for a backup truck. Um, I plan on cutting down and falling a whole bunch of trees uh, for a bunch of projects this summer um, and milling a bunch of trees. So maybe I'll build a truck that can haul those trees too. But uh, I'm, 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 I'm super grateful and happy for this old F-250, but I'm terrified at some point in time that the kind of work that's required up here to push this kind of heavy wet snow. We just had the heaviest wet snow for the last two weeks. And it really needs a low geared, very torquey. It would, it would be ideal if I could find a diesel. It needs to be a short wheelbase or, or, or a regular cab long bed is basically the, the longest I wanna go because I'm always having to turn around in, in weird, awkward places. I have the plow, I have that beautiful heavy duty plow but I think I'm gonna stop messing around with uh, these older beat up trucks and try and find something that's just gonna have, have good heating in it, have good, you know, all, the, all of the uh, uh, stuff's not worn out on it. This truck still has a ridiculous exhaust leak. So when I'm done plowing today, um, I'll have to throw all my clothes in the wash and go, um, right back to uh you know getting cleaned up jump in the shower and get cleaned up because the exhaust leak that i've paid to have fixed like three times on this truck still leaks on the back of that motor so anyway i think that's what i've decided is just to stop messing around with stuff that's probably not quite cut out for the job and find something that i can use and abuse and it's going to hold up to it by the way merry christmas happy holidays Okay, we're right in the middle of a nice, heavy, wet snowstorm. Uh, there's, it, it's like 38 degrees. It's super warm. It's Christmas Eve, by the way. Uh, we've got some friends coming over in, in a couple of hours, but I wanted to try and get the fascia off um, before they got here. But this snow is so heavy and wet that it's just sliding right off the roof. And if I'm lucky, I'll get to wear some of that snow. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of long time. And here's a hand, my trusty friend, and just a hand of thine. We'll talk a cup of kindness yet. So
I'm just trying to look at the roof line I'm trying to find the right spot to stand on but that's the right pitch we got a nasty storm coming in I think we're gonna wake up to a whole bunch of snow in the morning What do you get in the front? Go all the way down the driveway? 